Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So on this week's update, I am seven weeks out from my meet. So this is week two of my training for USAPL Open Men's Nationals in May. So normally I on Mondays I'll do a heavy squat and um, followed by my light bench workout. But for but for today for time's sake, I went ahead and did my bench first just to get it out of the way because um, I knew I was gonna have time after I squatted in my gear. Um, it went really well, so my, my top sets were 325 pounds for sets of two. I ended up doing five sets of two here, and then two drop sets at um, 285 pounds for two sets of three. Everything moved really well, my elbow wasn't really acting up today, so I was really happy about the way it went. Alright, so today I put on my fat squat suit, and I put it on in like five minutes. This is what I should have done last week, so I was stupid last week. Uh, I'm ready to go. It fits, feels good. I'm not dying in my suit, so it should be a much better workout today. And it truly was a great um, workout session today. So um, my f I have to so I have to wrap myself for like the first half of my workout. So first warm up set was 495 pounds for triples. Um, the wrapping yourself is basically the hardest part of the entire process or just having to roll your wraps, um, wrap your knees, step onto the bar and then go squat. Like by the time I get done wrapping myself and stand up to the bar, I'm already out of gas I'm already out of gas. Um, so the weight itself is not even a problem, it's just <laughs> getting past the wrapping your knees. Um, here's my next warm up set at four ninety five, moved just as well as the first. Um and then another thing with me that most lifters don't know is that I prefer to have my suits and wraps pretty, pretty loose for the most part. Um, uh, well, this is my um, next warm up set at 565 pounds for doubles. So I did two sets here. So like I was saying, yeah, I, I like my my suit and my wraps pretty light because I get to actually feel the weight. Um, because whenever the suit's too tight or the wraps are too tight, I feel uncomfortable and it's hard for me to really maintain my, my groove and my squat. So it actually throws me off um, rather than actually helping me. Um, and then now I'm up to my working sets. So here I had um, four sets of two um, and I had the option of either going strap down or straps up. And uh, for my first set, I went ahead and did that one straps down so I can just, because uh, cause it's not that heavy, it's only 595 pounds and um, that's nothing for me at this point. Um, then for my second set, I decided to go ahead and do a straps up so I get that feel of straps up again because straps down and straps up are completely different monsters. It's not the same thing. Um, and that went really well. I felt really comfortable. Um, and here's my third set. I decided to go go ahead and go back down to straps down because I don't really need the assistance of going straps up. Um, just like I said, because 595 isn't that heavy of a weight for me. Um, and then for my final set here, um, 595 again. Um, let's go ahead and see how this goes. So I like I like to take my time on the walkout here because um, my philosophy is if I can walk it out, I can squat it. So as long as I take my time, stay tight, then control my steps back and just get settled, the weight's gonna come back up, no problem. And as you can see here, it's easy. I'm gonna, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> the one downside of today's workout is that I snapped my. I snapped the lever to my gold lever. That kind of broke my heart. But it's all good though. I'm taken care of. Um, as some of y'all already know, I'm sponsored by Titan Support Systems. And uh, basically, as soon as it happened, I just got, went ahead and texted um, to uh, the owner, uh, Pete, and um, and his uh, one of his top employees, Isaiah, was able to get back to me right away and let me know that they are going to be shipping shipping out to me a new lever tomorrow morning. So, you know, they do a good job of taking care of the athletes. I'm super blessed to have them as a as a um as a sponsor and um you know, I'm good. They got a new one coming in, so more gains, more gains. I'm still good, and still in the game. And um that's it for tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh myself. I'm actually I gotta shower, weigh myself, probably do some programming and then go to bed. See y'all tomorrow morning. Alright, so it's day two of my training for the week. Uh, day two is a heavy deadlift and heavy bench day. 
so like I said um, last week, I am not going to be getting into a deadly suit. I'm going to pull it off at Men's Nationals in um, May. So the first set was my warm-up set at 4, 4.55 for 3. This is my first working set for 5.10 for doubles. So I had 5 sets of 2 for doubles. Um, everything moved really easy today. Um, and, I'm, and I was having a good time. So weight's always going to fly with it when I'm dancing and having a good time. Okay. If uh, I the video, here maybe on this set, the way it fell. I straight up yeah. forgot my belt. I forgot my belt. Put it on. But it didn't bother me one bit. Still knocked it out. After finishing my top sets, I had uh, two drop sets of uh, 484 sets of three. I honestly, within the past year, my deadlift has been really skyrocketing. Um, in the past, I used to be able to squat more than I can deadlift, but now that's no longer the story. Um, as you can see in that deadlift workout, like 510, 515 felt like like nothing to me. And um, it was moving really easy. I even did a double without a belt, and it, it moved just as fast with the belt on. Um, so I'm really happy with the way my deadlift is training, my deadlift training is going, which is another reason why I'm not even going to bother to get into a suit, because I'm not going to need it at this meet. Um, and I'm just, I'm really happy with the way my deadlift has been coming along this week. And now I'll go ahead and show you guys how the bench workout Alright, so for today's bench workout, um, starting off with my top sets here at 4 or 5 to a half board. So we didn't have a half board laying around, so I just kind of improvised and used a 10 pound plate. Um, it's about the same height. Um, elbow pain today was like probably eight and a half, nine out of ten on the pain scale, so it was really tough to get through this workout. Um, the weight itself wasn't heavy. Um, I, I could do four or five basically whenever I want. Um, so the weight itself wasn't the issue. It was just a matter of me being able to tolerate the pain and actually push through it. Um, it felt like basically one arm was only breaking and the other arm was just gonna be there for the ride. So you can imagine it kind of hard to to lift maximum weights, feeling like that. Um, but I was able to get through three sets. I skipped the last set just because I want to save my elbow as best as I can. And then for my very last set here, I have a, a two board press to 430 pounds. I was supposed to do two sets of one, but just for the sake of time, I just went ahead and did a double just to knock it out. Alright, so I just wrapped up um, bench. Uh, I did bench in my bench shirt. Elbows were killing me today. Um, I felt like I was benching with one arm basically. And um, this was after doing some heavy dads as well. Uh, as you can see, being in the bench shirt scars you up some. I got battle scars all over me. But that's that's normal for being in the bench shirt, as y'all can see. So it takes it takes tough skin to do a quick powerlifting, that's for sure. You can't you can't be a baby and um, not be able to take the pain. But um, overall, good day. It hurt, but it was a good day. Side to the camera, bro. <laughs> Look at me, dog. <laughs> a nacho cheese Dorito today. Nacho oh, cheese wait, Dorito. Look at this bro. So, that's it for today. If you guys liked the video, please hit that subscribe button, like, comment. Um, there's gonna be a lot more great content coming up as I get closer to my meet. So please be sure to tune in um, next time and I'll see you guys, on the next, catch you guys on the next video.